Hello, friends. Just double checking everything. First things first. <laughs> we are making creme delish cookies today. This is a drink mix. Our friend, whose name is Get Creme Delish, whose website is Get Creme Delish, has a, a drink mix. It's cinnamon, vanilla. I, I decided to try this in a snickerdoodle. It's already warm and cinnamony. It's got a fluff to it. I get to open my package of creme delish. And then I get to thaw my butter because, of course, it's uh, straight out of the fridge. Okay, I'm gonna smell it. It looks yellower than I thought, but then there are egg solids in here, which makes perfect sense. It's so toasty. It's so it's so rich and comforting and spice laden. I didn't want to say spicy, you know. So we'll start with half a cup of butter. I do have toasted sugar out from yesterday. So I'm gonna try and use the lightly toasted sugar and see how it goes. It might not make a huge difference. Stick of butter. Let's try it on. I should probably put the lid on. Like we have the lid for a reason so that stuff doesn't get all over the microwave. Okay, this is 50 grams. Okay, 50 grams of toasted sugar. I'm gonna reweigh it and see. I would imagine it did not change weight as it cooked, but you never know what could have, right? Chemistry. Okay. Well, it's 49 grams because I left a gram in the pan, I'm sure. So that's half the sugar we need. We'll do the other half from Delish. Oh man, I just forgot my math again. Are we doing 35? Yes, we're doing 35. And this has egg in it, so it's going to be a lot eggier, which is fine. I think it will bring a nice richness to the cookie. Because usually a um, snickerdoodle is fairly, in my mind, a little fluffy, a little doughy. Yeah, like a little light. I will put, I think I'll put vanilla in it. Well, the creme delish has vanilla flavor. <laughs> Ruining more British culture, right? Hey, Darkwood, how are you? Okay. I had the crack. Aha, I have the hinge. There does not appear to be, there is. There is eggshell in it. All right, let's get it out. I'll tell you that one-handed crack is still, <laughs> that's how that's so weird. Uh, I'm still working on it. I was, I think I was saying that I'm gonna do your gluten-free snickerdoodles tomorrow, which is cool because this creme delish cookie is a snickerdoodle version as well. And so, We'll do two days of sugar cookie experiments and two days of snickerdoodle experiments. That'll be fun. I will heat, preheat the oven after I'm done mixing this. It's got to get up to 400. This is one of the few cookies that bakes hotter than either 350, 375. 170 grams of flour, so let's do 100. Oh, that's what I didn't want to happen. Great. I usually use the other, the firm-sided bowl for this. But this one was right in my reach, and so I, yeah, I can't touch it or I'll screw up the weight. Okay, we'll do 100 and then we'll do our leavening. One of tartar and half of soda. So, um, and then half of baking soda. Yay! Um, and then I need 70 more after I set this in. 73, we'll take it. Two grams are not going to mess things up too badly, oh, one would hope. Making sure I have my ingredients. I did not want to put my pinch of salt in. Why don't I do that? Plenty. Right. And mix it, and then, although the egg solids 
might mean this needs more liquid, or it's not really liquid, it's fat. Well, the egg. The egg egg is liquid. All right, almost thoroughly mixed. Just needs a couple more turns, good. So it's a bit, nah, it's actually fine. I need my little, my little dish for my cinnamon sugar. It cannot be a snickerdoodle without this. So the texture is really nice. The creme delish flavor did not ruin anything. So here's what I'm gonna do. I know it's a bit of a, um, odd thing to do, but I'm going to bake three of them and check for taste because if I do need to add more vanilla, some vanilla, because I didn't add any, then I will go ahead and do that. So we're actually going to do, look at the timing, a three cookie experimental bake. They get eight to 10 minutes. We'll do 10. See how we go. I could burn the heck out of them, I suppose. Uh, but see if this needs anything else that I can add to it before we bake off the rest of them. Snickerdoodles with Creme Delish Mix, which is the drink mix that our very own Get Creme Delish sells. And uh, he has a market up near where I live, so I went and got some for myself. But let me put these little... Now they might be perfect on the inside, in which case we have a consistency note to be made with the effect of the creme delish, so. They, so I don't know how well it comes through. They're very dark right here. So I'm assuming that's sugar and that these have very nice caramelization. So if I split one open, they are nice on the inside. They smell really good. Okay, so flavor. They're a little bit dry, they're a little bit eggier. They just need to be baked less. Let's try another batch that are just in there for less time. I like the eggy though, it gives it a richness. I might eat all of these. This is like, this is like the rich classy cousin of a snickerdoodle. Like snickerdoodles are fine. Like you, they're absolutely fine. And this is a little, um, a little bougie snickerdoodle. I am eating um, one of the very, very crispy creme delish snickerdoodles. So actually what I was realizing was you dip the, um, the dough in the cinnamon sugar before you put it on. This is much more like a um, you know, cracklin. Like cracklin, when you, when you make the little layer of the paste and it's got the sugar and the colors and stuff on it and then you put the disc on top of it and as the, the dough of whatever you're baking rises, it bakes but also cracks and gets hard and is sugary. I think this is what this reminds me of more than anything else because it's not particularly, it's a little dry in the middle, but it's not, you know, burnt or parched or anything like that. So it's a fine cookie, but it's very crispy on top. Okay, seven minutes. Let's pull them and see if they're less crazy crispy. Still, I love a crispy cookie. Oh my, okay. So this tells us a lot. That's seven minutes. I think my light balance is not doing great things. That's 10 minutes. That's seven minutes. These are still much darker than a normal snickerdoodle. A snickerdoodle normally is pale, and I should have probably made a side-by-side -side recipe. Well, let's see, should I make dark fates gluten-free snickerdoodles next and compare them, or should I make standard? I can do both. Let's do it. Let's go crazy. I'm gonna wait till those cool, but all the creme delish ones, they are much browner, uh, but they are much richer. And so I subbed half of the sugar for the creme delish mix. It has much more flavor. These, these have much more flavor. Just like immediately you get the cinnamon and the vanilla, or at least the cinnamon. Let me think. The cinnamon and the vanilla are both very forward. It's really nice. You know, I'm actually gonna bake two of these for five minutes 
just to see how they set in the middle with the addition of the, the creme de liche powder. All right, five minutes. Five minute bake. Go now. And normal snickerdoodles for our challenge. And this is frozen butter, so the temptation is great. Okay, so now I'm gonna try one of the, oh, okay. The less, uh, the, the shorter bake. So it is still the same color inside. It's a little bit softer to the touch. And you see it crumble a little bit easier. So it is moister in the middle. It's not dry like the darker ones. So that is overbaked for sure then. It still has that, yeah, it did split easily. Um, it has that custardy, that when I was saying eggy earlier and rich earlier, it's custardy. It has that like, you put something, you know, you, you put like heavy cream, you put egg, you put something like dense, metabolically maybe, into, into this and I can taste that, that richness. I wouldn't really go unctuous because it's a bit, it's a baked thing and it's, it's not buttery per se. But it definitely has more flavor. Okay, these are, ooh. These are done, but I'm gonna let them cool because they're barely done. So that residual heat can try and cook those. So that's interesting. So that's a five minute bake and the recipe is eight to 10, but these, I don't even have them on camera. These extremely dark ones are 10, these are eight. And then I'll move those in a minute. These are not too delicate that I couldn't pick them up with my fingers. So this is 10 minutes eight minutes and five minutes. And I'm gonna let five minutes cool for a few more minutes, but they will for sure fall apart when I break them, when I crack them. We have, for your experimental observations, currently some snickerdoodles that are made with our friend Creme Delish's Creme Delish drink mix. And I'm gonna taste the underbaked, what I assume to be the underbaked ones now. So they do have a little bit of like darkness. It's working properly, I'm sorry, but it is a little bit almost damp there, which means like it's slightly under, but you can still eat it. So I'm gonna try it. These are moist. These snickerdoodles with creme delish flavoring are moist. They still have the outer crunch, which is a, very much like a shell on all three of these. Oh my goodness. So immediately the difference is obvious. Let's stop that. This is seven minutes. This is the same as our middle of row, but these, this is the difference. These are creme delish snickerdoodles. These are baked exactly at the same time. Snickerdoodles, wow. So, in my purely unprofessional assessment, the rise is, is a lot higher on the creme snickerdoodles And then it has that like crust, that like crackling crust. Because the color is significantly different. I'll move some of them over to the flame rack once they're ready. They taste really good. I really like them. But the thing is, so if we look at, <laughs> always interesting. I, I can't rewatch my VODs yet, but I'll get there someday. Um, so this is a 10 minute bake on a creme delish snickerdoodle. They're really dark and they're really crusty and a little bit dry. This is a seven minute bake. Um, so seven, it, my recipe is seven to 10. Um, so these are a seven minute bake and they are baked all the way through a little bit crispy. Um, and these are five minute bake, which are a little under baked. They fell in the middle and they have this little very slight um, moist line. Um, but they all, the flavor is really good. It's the extra eggy. It is um, very uh, cinnamon and vanilla forward, which the normal snickerdoodles generally are not. They're much more mild. So I love it in a cookie. You like these better than this? Which ones? The ones. I was saying they're different enough that they the could be their own the cookie. Um, these have a better texture. Yeah? Yeah, because these are a bit doughy, right? They have a little bit more um, like life. They're oh, not these bake the same? Mm -hmm. This oh, bakes a lot better. These so, and now the ones that are baking in there will be the same bake time as this. So this is 10 minutes, seven minutes, and five minutes for the creme. One second. 
Yes, that one is cinnamon and vanilla forward to me. So I like the flavor forwardness of it. Um, after action review. Nice, good product. <laughs> so creme delish in the cookies is absolutely a game changer. But like I said, they're different enough, even though I used a snickerdoodle base and made one tiny substitution, different enough to be its own cookie. So it's gonna get its own recipe.